Welcome to Python for Introductory Statistics. In this video, uh, we will learn how to use uh, Python variables. Um, for this one, let's use uh, this example. Let's say you took a test, well, actually three tests, and the first test you scored 75 out of 100, the next one 80, and then the last one 83. So what's the average of your three tests? The first one is kind of C and the last two are B. So what is your average uh, uh, score here? So what we would do typically is we add these three numbers and we divide them by three. So most calculators now do this slightly different than uh, Python. So let's open uh, Python. So first we can go to Google uh, if you have it ready it's not it's good but if you don't we can go to google.com and search for colab all right c-o-l-a-b and it's usually the first one now if you're already signed into google it will just show you these are the files you have do you want it, a new notebook or do you want it uh to open one of your old books so let's open the one that we used uh, earlier um all right so we'll just continue by adding more cells so we'll add here so there are two ways to add a cell you can write here you could do a plus code cell or a text cell. By the way, this text cell, all it means is that you can write a text saying now this lesson is about variables, right? And it wouldn't do much. And you do control enter. It's just a text. It doesn't uh, do anything. It's just a note for you. All right. Now, what we'll do is, so we'll add, so we'll add what? 75, the first test score is 75, and then 80 is the second. And the last one is... Um, 80 and then plus 83. So now we could run this. And then remember, we have to divide this sum by three. So in Colab, if we run this, it will tell us the sum. Now, in order to divide it by three, we're going to open another code cell and write 238 uh, divided by three. And this is one way to do it. But a much efficient way and we will see it throughout um, our lessons here that variables are going to play a better role here so for the first time maybe we'll start uh, writing uh, not just one line but maybe a couple of lines so what we'll do is the sum which is we have to add remember 75 plus 80 plus 83 this sum can be stored or saved in a variable let's call it total right it doesn't matter uh, we could have just used the letter t but we can write total is equal to 75 plus 80 plus 83. now what will uh, python do is it will add the left hand side which is 75 80 and 83 which is 238 and it will save it in a new variable called total right and then i'm going to press enter for a new line now what do we want to do we wanted to divide this total right this variable total we're going to divide it by three and now when we run this code or when you execute this code it will tell us the last sentence which is it will add and assign it total and total is divided by three and the average is the same whichever way you wanted it so just we're introducing the idea of a variable now while we're at it let's do more let's add now let's first see what total is um, storing in its place. So let's let's do this print. So for the second time, we're going to use print. But this time, we're not going to put it in quotation mark. We're going to put what is the amount of total. We want to see. We want it to display what total is storing in its, in, in its name. So when we run this, it tells us that the total, which is 75 plus 80 plus 83, is 238. Now, what happens if we use, so let's open another code cell. Now, what happens if we say total is equal to 100? Now, we're assigning a different number, right, which is 100 into the total. And if we run this or execute it, now the value 238 is deleted in the memory of total and 100 is replaced. So you can use the same variable multiple times but it will only remember the last assignment, right? 